got home from work, we shoveled the walk and uh, came in to sit down, play some Nintendo, and I went out in the kitchen to make tea and come back and he was out. I think I was out shoveling snow before, right before my heart attack. And uh, I came in to sit down and sat down, was playing a game of Nintendo. That's when the lights went out. He was not a, a living human being at the time we got our hands on him. They can't admit a dead person to CCU or to ICU. And at the point that we started working with him, he was dead. He had no spontaneous heart rhythm. He wasn't breathing on his own. It was all the support of the CPR and having the breathing tube down his throat. I think it's cutting edge. Very few people that came in full cardiac arrest walk out. To see somebody come in that condition, to leave walking, I think that's just incredible. I was here every day and you know, started to realize that uh, this was a one of a kind thing, that if he had went to another hospital, he probably wouldn't be here today. Uh, he wouldn't be here today. With the Mercy Cath Lab in the emergency department and the hard work of their emergency chest pain team, they've been able to take these patients while coding to the cath lab and save lives. Of those who do reach the emergency department in the better hospitals, 1% mortality. We have defeated heart attack in America, almost like polio, if you get here with a pulse and a blood pressure. Well, if we're doing a good job with heart attacks, let's now look at SCA, sudden cardiac arrest, and let's give those people hope by opening that coronary artery so we could resuscitate them. My husband, Brian, was the Christmas miracle. He was, December 10th, he was at work and he collapsed. He has never had any kind of medical issue. He was fine. I had talked to him 10 minutes before he actually collapsed. They gave me a phone call. He said, come, come pick him up. Brian fell. I rushed in to go see him. He is on the floor. He had no pulse. I started actually doing CPR, and then here comes the ambulance. They shocked him a total of eight times. And eight of those times was right in front of me. And it was a very scary thing to see. I mean, he's 34 years old. This shouldn't be happening right now. This is something that should be happening if, you know, hopefully never, but 20 years, 30 years down the road. We came to Mercy, and I thank God every day that we did. All the nurses, the doctors, Dr. Sabe, Dr. Markle, Dr. Harris, Dr. Stalker, all of them took great care of him. All of his nurses were great. They made not only him be comfortable, but they also made myself and the rest of the family feel at peace. Dr. Sabe came to us and said, today was not his day. That gave myself and my family a sense of peace that I can never thank you enough. Because it made us feel he's gonna make it. Mercy Medical Center, the CCU, is a great hospital. I thank God that, I was, that he was taken here. This heart cath that Dr. Sabe and everybody else brought into this emergency room here is a great thing. It should go to every single emergency room. My husband, 34 years old, is sitting right there. He shouldn't be here right now. Day by day, he has some days that he's slower, some days he's better. But he will see the next 20, 30 years down the road. And I cannot just thank you enough. There's still more miracles to perform. So thank goodness Mercy Medical is in our backyard. I am so proud to work at this hospital and live in this area. I think that there's no place that's safer in the entire country. We treat their heart and the heart attack as if it's a trauma, just like somebody has been in a car accident and had all kinds of lacerations or cuts. And we have very skilled physicians and talented staff who are dedicated to what they do. We go in there and we treat these patients as if they're our own family members. And we do the best job we can and try to give them back their lives the way they knew it beforehand or as close to it as we can get them. Mercy Heart Center, the first place to think of for your heart.